No matter how much time the caretaker spent with her, she was just extremely sad and lonely. It was devastating. She didn't have a mom. Seeing how weak and fragile she was, they were just praying that she would make it. She must have been no more than a few days old when the rescuers found her. She was abandoned by her mom and they knew that she wouldn't survive on her own. They were able to load her inside a helicopter since she was so tiny. She was just a baby and was absolutely helpless. She was too small to be around the other rhinos and had nobody to console her. It was really heartbreaking. Swazi was slowly getting better, but she was still feeling really, really sad. The caretakers didn't know what to do, but then they had a crazy idea. They had recently rescued a goat who was also in desperate need of a friend. Baki just jumped on her, trying to get her to play. Swazi slowly but surely began to chase her back. You can see Swazi was starting to get a spring in her step. Yippee! Seeing her do little run hops was so exciting and such a relief. It was the first time Swazi was seen joyful and happy. She was finally learning how to enjoy life. This friendship was shaping up to be so special for both of them. As they grew, they developed a routine together. There's definitely a rhino in the kitchen this morning. Oh, there's Bucky also in the kitchen. Every morning, they raid the whole sanctuary for food. Oh, you can't eat all of that. Swalsey probably still thinks she's tiny. She loves to go over and sniff the cat, sneak into the smallest places, and push herself into humans. She has no idea how big she is. Later, Swazi and Baki go on their favorite walks together. It's so fun to see Baki's ears flap as he tries to catch up to Swazi. This is when Swazi gets to enjoy mud baths. She will splash around until she is completely covered. She looks like a, a chocolate rhino. Baki is not convinced about the mud baths, but he is always nearby. They are absolutely glued to each other. After a long day of their shenanigans, the two of them snuggle in for a good nap. They became each other's family in a very difficult time. It's as if they knew that they needed each other. Now that they're getting older, it's time for them to continue their journey with their own kind so that they can build their own families. Swazi was actually recently spotted with a black rhino bull with a very sweet and promising connection. Thanks to Baki and unlikely friendship, Swazi got a second chance at life and got the happy ending that she deserved. <laughs>